Hi there, and welcome to this introductory video for your next unit, Mother Nature versus Human Nature. So, let me share with you what the unit is going to explore. We're going to be looking at the global context of globalization and development, and focusing on the impact of decision making on humankind and the environment. Our key concept is change, and our related concepts are resources and sustainability. The statement of inquiry, which we're going to explore and unpack as the unit progresses and question is, leaders are globally need to change their mindset in order to make decisions with future generations in mind. So that's the statement of inquiry. Leaders need to globally change their mindset in order to make decisions with future generations in mind. So how does that connect and relate to Mother Nature versus Human Nature? Well, first off, we're going to spend some time diagnosing the patient, which is, of course, planet Earth. And planet Earth is a sick planet and needs your help. But just how sick is our planet? So we're going to be exploring the sections of our planet Earth and how that impacts our environment. Then we're going to move on to the idea of angry Earth. Because now we know that the planet is sick, let's explore how Mother Nature shows us what power is in terms of natural disasters and to what extent do we play a role in those natural disasters. We'll move on to the level one challenge which will be your formative assessment and the world needs the USA to ratify the Paris Agreement. First, you must persuade the President of the United States to support the Paris Agreement. Then you're going to move on to global leadership because Often we hope for leaders to have the courage to take action to protect future generations. To what extent do they do that? How often do leaders think of the next generation? Who do we define as leaders? Are we just looking at politicians or do we look at leaders in their specific fields? Are you a leader? That's what we'll discuss when we talk about global leadership. Then you'll have your level two challenge, which will be your summative assessment. Because now that you've got the president on board, you need to now persuade Congress and Senate to vote and ratify the United States' support for the Paris Agreement. Because even though the president of the United States may agree to the Paris Agreement, he still needs Congress and Senate to approve that. So you've now persuaded the president, you've got to go one step higher and persuade Congress and Senate to allow the USA to ratify the Paris Agreement. Then... After the end of the unit is completed, you will then reflect on your goals, your expected challenges, and to what extent were you able to overcome them. As you can see throughout the unit, you will be practicing important skills which will help you throughout the unit, such as your critical thinking skills, your media literacy, and your communication skills. Thanks for watching.